Hello everyone. My name is Dushan and welcome to Backstage with Coders. We are starting our YouTube journey with a very interesting topic on Python, which is importing and exporting files using Jupyter Notebook. For this, we will use Python library called as Pandas, which is generally used for data manipulation and analysis. So, what we are doing here is we have set up two folders: input files and output files. In input files, we have three uh, different files. Uh, which is having uh, different extensions here. Yes. The first file is txt, and then csv, and then excel file. So for importing different kind of file in Jupyter Notebook, uh, we, I have set up a Jupyter Notebook here. So first thing we have to do here is we have to import the uh, Python library pandas. So for that we will use import a keyword and then pandas. Sorry, pandas as pd. So PD is just an alias. So we have successfully imported the pandas file here. To run a cell, we have to press Shift enter. Next thing we have to do is uh, define a data frame. So I am uh, just right giving the name df1, which will import the CSV file. To import the CSV file, we have to write three arrows for CSV and give the path. To get the path of that file, we have to go to the folder and copy it from here and then paste it here and give the file name which is test test .csv. so this uh, pd dot read a csv should be there and this should work but this will not work because python interpreter will take that this backslash as a special character to make it work we have to type r here which is uh, a raw with uh, which will take the entire path as a raw string so this will work now so df1 you can check it using df.head which will print the first five rows of that file so as you can see that we have imported the csv file successfully and then we will import the other two files as well so i am just copy pasting this thing and testing it here and giving the name of df2 and df3 so and changing the extensions here txt xlsx for this thing excel file and for reading the excel file we have to change the syntax as well here we will write excel here and for reading txt we can use the same syntax as csv the excel file name is different which is export experts opinion it will, you can just copy paste it from here and then paste it here so as you can see that we have successfully imported the text and excel file from here so we can cross check it using uh, head function which will print the first five rows of that file so df2 and df3 both are successfully imported into the jupyter notebook so importing is done now to export all these three files we are we are using the two csv or two function so to do that just write the data frame name and two underscore uh, csv for csv file we can give the path of that file by going to the output files and copy pasting the path and give the alias for that file so i am giving output dot one output one dot csv okay and don't forget the r so by running this we are exporting the df1 data frame as output one dot csv in output file so as we can check the output file folder now we have successfully imported the sorry exported the output uh, output one file into the folder to export the other two files, we can just copy paste the same syntax and then change the data frame name and change the extension as well. So here, uh, you can change this thing and then run it. So df2 and df3 are also successfully exported to the file uh, as a txt and excel file form in between the steps we will do some data manipulation before import like before exporting the files but that will cover into the next video and if you have any doubts please uh, post it into the comment section
Thank you.